back to my channel my name is crop queen and today i like to give you a walk through or a flip through uh, to these two little projects i made um, with uh, a christmas team paper pack all right stay tuned okay so let me first begin with the explosion box so this is a top and I decorate again with some flowers and some bronze element. I cut out a word, the joy. And I always say, well, not always. I assume that this is the front. And this is the side. Ho, ho, ho. Santa's elves see everything. And then this beautiful image, snowy days. And the back. This nice horse toy. It's the most beautiful time of the year. It is. Um, all around it, I decorate this with some silver uh, string. And when you pull up the lid, the one thing you are going to recognize that it's not that explosion box as you normally are used to. But you will see. So if I will put the lid up, it will stay there. <laughs> okay. Um, the reason why I did that is because I made um, a flip out of each piece. So if I pull this one out, there is a, a lid right here. And if I pull this one out, there is a lid too. And on here, every piece. On every piece, I made a lid. And the reason why I did that is because... Um, this is the second time that I did a made an explosion box and the first time I did an explosion box I noticed if you pull up these two flaps then yeah for some reason you get a little opening right here and I don't like that I want it shut down so that is why I came up with a flap on each piece uh, side corner uh, yeah side thing <laughs> and um, so that is why I made up with this flap and yeah I think that's that's a good way but it does not explode when you put off the lid that is the only thing all right so for the leftovers I put all these little um, things that I that you can pull put out the, the sheets and all these silver words and the black words I put in these little bags so the person who gets this st can still use the leftover pieces. Um, let me first go inside. Inside I made this a little album thing. So, um, so you still can write something down or put a nice little picture on here. So I did not embellishment. I did not put any embellishments uh, on each of these little pages because I think the people who want to get this uh, want to do that for themselves. Um, can you imagine if you not, well perhaps not on this one because this, this window is an enormous beautiful. Uh, but can you imagine if you put some nice photo on here then um, perhaps you will see a nice little image or a nice word that's in these bags and then you can glue them down in the corner. So that is why I did not do anything on these little pages. Um, and each little page there is a tag and I did embellishment the front but the back I kept it plain. So you still can put a nice little picture on the back. All right, so this, yeah, this is pretty simple, but in each pocket I made a nice tag and on the back I'll leave it plain. So there is still plenty of space. So can you imagine that you put a nice little picture on here and then let's say pull out this bear for some reason and glue that down in the corner. That looks amazing, but I can't do that in front because you need to glue down the picture first. All right, so then we have the next tag, Christmas, and a nice clean sheet on the back, ice skating, so this continuing from Santa with love, and North Pole tracking and delivery, oh, I love this, this penguin, so cute. And plain, and a nice vintage photo, let it snow, home for Christmas. 
and then this is the back. So, as I told you, this is pretty clean. So let's go to the first pocket here. What do you see here? Um, well, first there is a pocket on each flap page. And I put a little booklet in each pocket. So inside and on the back if you like. But inside definitely you can glue down a nice picture. I only decorate the front. And this is also a little pull out from the sheet. Then on each inside page I made a frame with that silver piece, piece of paper and what I thought I will not leave it plain. So what I did is I grabbed some clear pockets and I only glued that down with that ribbon and if you now I did, I did use a little pull out from the sheet. So can you imagine that you can glue down, not glue down, you put in here your nice picture and you still can tuck something behind it, if you like. So that is the meaning of this clear pocket. For now I only did it with this little tag. So that's that. Let's turn this piece around. So the same thing here, I already put a nice little piece in here glue down with that ribbon and embellished it a little. Then in this tag sheet, in this pocket, there is another booklet. Oh guys, I love this one. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, ho ho ho, Rudolph with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? So cute. And here is snow off the ground. Oh, okay. Absolutely love those images. So again a nice booklet. Warm wishes with love. So yeah, I did some decoration here and there. Let's turn this. Then we have another pocket right here. Just a little tag right here. Uh, another booklet. Very cute to write something down or uh, put your photos in there. And again here a clear pocket with already a nice tag in. And then the last piece. Also a nice uh, pocket uh, with a booklet. Santa says smile. And he holds a camera in his hand. So that's really cute. And then this goes back in here. Santa Claus post office. office. And again here just a clear um, pocket. Okay, and that's it guys. I love how this turns out. And for me, this is the front. I don't know exactly, but this is the front. So I have this image in front of me. And then this all closes down. Just pop up one page, pop up the next one, fold this in, pop up the next one. Make sure that this is inside closes in pop up the next one and the next the last one I fold this just in here and then that's it and here I can add the leftover goodie bags plenty of place so that's it and then you just can put the lid on top of that and that's it what do you think I like it okay thanks for watching and let's go to the album Okay, so the next little project was making uh, this cute little album and um, so okay this is the front I um, did use again the same um, flowers but then the half on this project and I used this little belt pieces with some um, um, the, the, the ribbon <laughs> so it seems like a belt from Santa I don't know it's just a little item I like. I made it, this cabbage on my shelf. I will show you that in the tutorial. I cut out Merry Christmas and on the side I kept that belt going on and uh, I made a little embellishment on the side and the back I just kept it plain. All right then you have that ribbon uh, closure and let's dig in inside. Alright, the first page is with a nice uh, cabochon closure and uh, waterfall. Just enough space for a nice little picture all to the bottom. And then this closes down with that ribbon. 
And here there is, um, let me grab this little tag. Inside here there is still place for adding a nice uh, secret letter or whatever you want it to do in here. Maybe a nice wish list, um, present list or a guest list, whatever. There is still place in here to put something down. I made that a nice large pocket. So that's that's still doable. All right, so I made six all same pages and um, um, it was a challenge for me to make a pure and simple album. And um, I think I did a good job, um, especially when you are a Scrap Queen follower then you will notice that this is a pretty simple one. Uh, everybody can make this, so it's an easy peasy one. So, um, so at the first page, I made just a nice pocket and I glued down the middle. So we have two pockets, made two tags in here. Um, here is just a little tuck spot. And then you fold this out and then I kept inside just plain to uh, leave your photos in here. So yeah, this is a nice photo frame and here you also can maybe one or two photos in here uh, glue down or you can write something down on top here. All right, and then we go to the next page and that is the back of course from each page. Uh, I made a pocket. And in this album, I also made uh, a few goodie bags for the leftovers for all the pull out pieces. Um, that I still had. Um, so I made this tag with just a nice embellishment charm on top. Seasons greeting, a nice cup of coffee with some sweet, love that. So that goes in here. So that is each page is the same. Okay, so again we have two pockets made here. And of course you can make a nice little pocket on a tag too if you like. And in here we have that photo frame and then on the back we have that pocket. Pretty same. Love that. In the air there is feeling of Christmas. Cool. I love those images. Pretty vintage. Love the colors. Then on this page I made, uh, I create just a little extra pocket on top. And this, all what you see is what you get in the paper pad. A little booklet inside you can write a little note in here and a nice tag and again some photo frames I did not use any white or everything I just wanted to show you what you can do with that paper pad uh, peace and love and then we have warm up that hot chocolate bar to be jolly love that just simple Tags, Santa's workshop, reindeer crossing, candy tree. Love, 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 love. Again, some photo mats. Oh, and I believe in here I made just a little simple tuck spot. So don't think that I forgot to glue this down. It's a nice little tuck spot. Shall I put that right there? Yeah, let's do that. Do I have an extra pair of tag left? I don't know. Anyway, let's go to the next one. Um, dreaming of a white Christmas, Christmas greetings, holly jolly. So much nice things to use. Here I made a nice big tag, booklet, love it. Also from the paper pack, again, a nice uh, photo frame. Just a little fluffy thing that's left there. Um, here again uh, a leftover bag making a list and checking it twice don't open I love it love it and then nice extra tags in here and then the inside and then the back again a nice tag with a nice extra charm oh my god I love this for you extra goodie bag and then on the back, I made two pockets, one um, small one and one at the back. Uh, this one um, 
leaving a nice tag, a nice goodie bag. And in here I just fold down a brown leather. So you still can write something down in here. But I was just showing you that you still can tuck something down in here. Okay, so what do you think? Did I did a good job of making an easy peasy simple album? For me, this is simple. <laughs> so, but um, it is for you too. I bet, I bet it is. Um, so yeah, I think it's it, it's not too thick already. Um, if it's going to be too thick, if you are going to put some uh, pictures in, then you also always can pull out some uh, of the tags if you like or if you don't want to make so much tags you also can put your pictures in there um, but it's also very thick uh, at the moment uh, for the cabochon in the front and of course the goodie bags are pretty thick also so if i pull all the tags out and all the goodie bags out then it's definitely very flat all right so i hope you like these two projects and um I hope I will see you back with the tutorial. Okay. Um, before I forgot, please give me a thumbs up if you like it. And if you aren't a subscriber just yet, please subscribe to the channel and you will see more projects way soon. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, and of course, I made a kit out of this. Uh, uh, one kit for these two objects. Uh, project so uh, stay tuned and you will see that video pretty soon and um, check it out because I don't have that much all right bye bye hello hello welcome back to my channel my name is Crab Queen and in this video I'm going to show you what's in the kit so do you like to make exactly the same projects as I just did then stay tuned and I will show you what's in this box. What do you get in the kit? So let me show you what's in it. Let me put this away just a minute and let's open this up. So you will get exactly the same box. Yep, here it goes. Yeah. So what's inside? Of course, my little note for me. Yay. <laughs> um you get four of these clear pockets which you can use which i use in the explosion box for your for putting your photo in there then i have for you the the templates i have for you the small tags and the one size, well, a bigger size tag template. So you can make as many as tags as you like. So use this template. And I cut out for you these words, Noel, Merry Christmas and Joy. So that is what I cut out for you guys. That's what's inside. There is a little note. That is, this is not a description. This is just a welcome note. And I write down a very, very few amount of measurements. They, I think one or two, what the cover size is. Um, there is inside um, a little list what you can be found in this box. And a little welcome note, a little blah, 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 a little chit chat for me. <laughs> so that is what's inside too i included two of these brown letters so you can put that in the box too um before i go to the papers you get the same flowers i used the same flowers and ribbons the little ones that i used uh, silver and bronze uh, eyelets i used um, a bronze set there is everything in it what I use even the cabochon everything everything you saw that I use is in there then you got a bag with all the ribbon I use the wet the cream the green the pearl the fluffy the gold and the silver everything is in it and then of course you get four of these paper pads and there are four different ones 
exactly the same as I used for paper packed. Oh, I love those images. And I have so much left. So I still can make beautiful cards or other projects. But, all right, so I have there two silver ones and two gold ones. So you get four different pads and you get one chipboard piece. Now, what's not included, I always tell you that what's not included. What is not included is the black cardstock that I used. Um, so that is not in it. Because you can already see it's filled to the, to the top of this box. And I wanted to make the shipping uh, costs as low as possible. And that I only can do if I put it in a mailbox box. So... Um, so yeah, so it's already full. So there is no cardstock in it. No cardstock that I used for the explosion box. And no cardstock that I used for, um, for the pages in the album. That is not included. But everything else is included. So if you only buy um, black cardstock. Well, I use Claire Fontaine 160. But... That is totally up to you which cardstock you want to use. Um, if you have linen or um, a higher amount of um, cardstock, then please do. I just told you what I use. And um, yeah. So if you buy black cardstock and this kit, then you can make all what you see in here everything you see in here you can be made totally for yourself i added some leftover pieces from the uh, little images there is everything around i included that also in the box these little images and silver and black words so everything you see, you can make that your own. All right, so send me a message if you do like this kit. If you do like everything. Um, yeah, these are two pretty quick to make projects. And I just love them. So if you would like to make a quick uh, Christmas present uh, for your family or friend or your neighbor or anything you like. Um, and just that, that this is just it and I'm trying to make it a little lower than normal um, so it's a low budget kit okay so send me a message if you like this and um, perhaps I have one left for you all right thanks for watching bye bye and Merry Christmas everybody bye bye